How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through three free apps that I use to edit my photos on the go, because let's be honest, you pretty much have this thing everywhere you go, whether you're waiting at an appointment, whether you're taking a poop, like you name it, you generally have this, so why not utilize that time and edit some content with it? Now the first app that we are gonna start with is called Afterlight. Let me go ahead and select a photo to load into the app. Here we go. We're gonna click here, and as you can see, there are a ton of adjustments, some obviously paid, um, but a lot are free. And then if you click on this triangle, it'll give us a lot of presets. I generally like to use this app when I wanna go um, with presets that are a little bit more uh, darker or moodier, like something like this. Um, I actually love the greens in this, so we're actually going to use uh, this particular preset for it. There are a lot more other presets, uh, some are paid, but if you come up here and click um, on these other tabs, you can see that it does give you quite a lot more options. And if you know my work, you know I'm a sucker for these warmer tones as well. Something like that looks absolutely beautiful. I'm going to use this one actually instead because I like it more. We'll just go ahead and click the check mark there. And then just to kind of fine tune it, I'm gonna further um, change up some things. So we're gonna go over here. Um, our brightness, I'm gonna boost up just a tad like that. And you'll kind of see why uh, in a minute. Contrast, I do want those tones to be a little bit deeper. So we're gonna increase that. Um, and then we'll slide all the way over here to our vignette. Definitely wanna add a little bit of a vignette there. And if you tap on the image, you can see it shows you your before, um, before the, um, the edits that you made in this particular instance. Whereas on the other side where you were make, uh, making the preset or choosing the preset that you were gonna use, same thing applies. It'll show you the before you actually applied that preset. Go ahead and uh, click the check mark there because I do like that. The temperature, I'm gonna make a little bit colder because I think that'll add to uh, the dramatic effect here. That's looking dope, sick. Sharpening, obviously I'm gonna sharpen that up because why not? Our shadows, I'm gonna try and bring that out just a little bit though, just to make it look like we got a nice fade. I'm thinking that, that looks really good to me. There we go. Now um, our shadow tone, I'm gonna add a little bit more blues to it. And this is one thing that I do really like about this uh, app in particular. They make it really easy to select the, um, the RGB on your uh, shadow tones and makes it really easy to actually set it. So I'm gonna actually bring out some blues here, just cause I'm really liking that. There we go. Now our midtones, I'm gonna see how it reacts with just greens a little bit, a little bit more greens, or actually drop down the greens. Yeah, I'm actually liking that a lot. Well, I'll just leave it at zero. Um, I do wanna make it a little bit brighter because adding the contrast and um, the vignette, it did make it look a little bit darker, so let's boost that up just a little bit. There we go. And there you have it. That is the final product. As you can see, that took, I don't know, 30 seconds or what have you. So let's jump on to the next app and I'll show you what that one's capable of. All right, so the next app is called Focus. And if you're like me and you're using an older phone, it may not be equipped with the feature of portrait mode, which essentially kind of separates your subject from the background, giving you a little bit more depth of field, a little bit more bokeh. What this app allows you to do is essentially imitate that. And let me tell you, it does a damn well job of doing so. I loaded the uh, photo here. And if we click on size, you could see what the image looks like as is, but if I go ahead and put it on F20, you can see that is actually what I shot it at. But if I wanted to increase that bokeh or that blur background blur effect, I can actually open up my aperture a little bit more, say to F2.8, let it load and boom, you can see that it does give you that really nice effect and it cuts out your subject from the background pretty damn well. From there, I'll usually go ahead and save it and then upload it into another app to go ahead and finish either color grading and things of that nature. And last but not least, one of my personal favorites called RNI Films. They have a lot of amazing presets that kind of simulate a film look along with some of a modern twist. So here I have an image loaded in the app and I'm gonna take you through some of these presets and I think they're really, really high quality and you'll see what I mean here. I'm just gonna show you a few of them that I really, really do like. 
And then they obviously have a paid version which will unlock even more presets for you. But I haven't felt the need to get that just because there are so many presets already for free. If I click on the arrow here on the right, it'll unlock a bunch more other presets. And I'll show you some black and white ones too because some of these look really, really nice, especially if you fine tweak it from here. So um, let's go ahead and actually come back here to Vintage. I'm gonna select one of the uh, presets here that I really like. Let's see, I think, I think we'll go with this one. And now we can further fine tune by clicking on this, uh, these tools here. And it gives you pretty much um, a lot of the uh, options you would see in other apps. However, what I did notice is a couple of things. Right here, there's an option to adjust the pre-warmth and the post-warmth, something I haven't seen in any other apps. And it also does allows you to do the same thing with the tint, something I think is really, really dope. I'm gonna actually just increase the warmth or the pre-warmth a little bit. Our highlights, I'm gonna keep the same. Our shadows, I am gonna bring out a little bit here. Actually, now that I see that, I'm gonna bring our highlights down a smidge. Uh, another cool thing is with the grain, you can adjust its strength and the scale. I'm gonna add just a little bit here. That's looking good. And then a little bit of contrast just to kind of get a little bit more depth in those tones. Brightness I feel is perfectly fine. Now if you jump over here, um, you have more options. I'm gonna just increase our sharpness there and add a little bit of a vignette. That's looking beautiful. Now you can also add a fade and you can also add dust just to kind of give an even more authentic, filmy, grainy, dusty, dirty look if you wanted to. But from there, I'll just go ahead and click on this icon which will allow us to save it to either the camera roll, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. It's very intuitive. I mean, you could do pretty much everything within this app if you wanted to. It's one probably that I use the most out of the three that I showed you here today. Well guys, that is gonna wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help the channel continue to grow. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I am coming out with fresh content for you every single week. And for those who are subscribed, be sure to hit that bell notification so you know exactly when I got some fresh new content out on the channel for you to watch. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.